Hey everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video we're going to be talking about the new Galactic, Galactic Crisis campaign that is just getting ready to start out. So uh, we'll just kind of go through here, we're going to run through a handful of different things real quick. But before we do, I always like to talk about the keys first and foremost because I know that's one of those things that is very, very important to you guys. So when it comes down to the keys, if you actually are able to complete some of the different mission rewards, uh, Galactic uh, uh, Crisis Special Missions, which we'll actually go into that right now here, there is actually going to be three keys that are going to be available and those look like those are going to be uh, just your regular story keys uh, or they're going to be challenge keys. I can't really tell. It looks like they're the black one so it should be the story keys. Um, but what you're going to have to do is clear any Dokkan event once. Now unfortunately those are the only three keys that we're going to be able to get during this celebration. So stay tuned. Um, I'm really hoping that Saiyan Day is going to be coming out and going to be able to be giving us more keys. They did really take care of us at the first part of the year with the uh, turn into 2021 and uh, really gave us a lot of keys so I think that's part of the reason why they've been pulling back a little bit but three keys is what we can get by clearing any Dokkan event once now as far as the rest of the celebration goes a lot of the different events and da daily missions and things are going to be very similar to everything else however if you notice this is going to be limited time missions this is not a part one uh, or anything like that. So it doesn't look like there's going to be a part two to this celebration because that should lead us right directly into Saiyan Day. And I'll uh, kind of go back here and break everything down from this point within the Galactic Crisis campaign. So we already kind of went over those. The login bonuses are just simply making sure you're logging in every day. You're going to be getting different uh, rewards. Now we do have the double XP that's going to be available whenever you complete quest mode. So if those of you that are on the lower end of the levels, Definitely the best time to be going through and doing some quest modes to be able to move up and get uh, your experience points and, and increase in a lot of levels. Uh, there is Dragonstone sale, doesn't look like anything too special there. Then obviously we have the Dokkan Fest with the uh, SSR Bojack that is going to be coming around. And uh, then also the uh, Zanga. So we do not know what the banner entails at this time, so tomorrow I will be releasing... Uh, my video, or actually, it's, I shouldn't say it like that, I'm recording this on Sunday night. So Monday, that is going to be the first video that's going to be coming up for the week, and then this video is going to be coming out uh, later on, uh, or I might even upload it. Well, I'll probably upload it. I don't know if I'll upload this tomorrow at 10 a.m. or whatnot. Any which way. Um, Space Traveling Heroes, that, that one right there, that category summons, I usually don't like doing these, but I'm interested in this because of the fact that it has Luis Fados and then also Topo. And uh, going through here, we are going to have a Dokkan Fest ticket, so make sure you guys are going through if you uh, are pay to play. Uh, probably uh, take a look at that, see whether or not that is going to be interesting enough to purchase in the Pilaf uh, Trove. And then the Galactic Warrior uh, event, so we're going to be able to go into that, get that taken care of, a new Dokkan event set up ready to go there. And then the Her Hero Extermination Squad uh, plan. Being able to go through and get those two levels uh, uh, with the new awakenings for Whis and uh, Hijack. And uh, they are going to be bringing back the Easy A battle for uh, Topo and Dispo, so that's going to be nice. Then uh, we are going to be having, now it's going to be really cool, uh, the uh, Super Guy in the Galaxy, uh, Super Android 13, and Pride Troopers. Those are all very, very important events. Uh, so please make sure you guys are going through and doing those events and collecting everything off of those. And then there it is. We got the Extreme Z Awakening coming out for Gogeta. We'll talk a little bit more specifically about Gogeta in another video and really kind of break everything down as far as what he's going to be able to bring to the table. He's going to be weak to movie bosses, so that's why we're going to have a category summon available for that. And then also we're going to be getting the EZAs for the Blue Goku and the uh, Kaioken Goku. So that's going to be pretty cool. Again, we'll break those down in a later video. Now, one thing I thought was going to be pretty interesting is that we're getting these uh, story events here. The, they don't seem like they're really great events. The Lord Slug one, obviously, is probably the one most people would gravitate towards because of the fact that you can use him in order to get the EZAs of the LRs that are uh, LR uh, uh, Goku and then the LR Frieza that just uh, got EZAs. 
But the uh, the rest of these are really good, and I, and I, I want to make a video breaking down why I think that, that everybody should really be doing the 10 billion Power Warriors event, and then the Strongest Rivals event. I think those are two very important story events that we're going to want to get into, and you're going to have a week to be able to do that from March 8th going through, oh, it's going to be longer than that, okay, so until March uh, 22nd, so that's going to be really good. That's kind of interesting, that's going to be carrying on through with, oh, yeah, getting low on battery there, um, getting, uh, going in through Saiyan Day, that's interesting, I wonder if Saiyan Day is going to be movie boss, or movie themed, because that right there is four movies right there. Huh, something to think about. Alright, and then we also have the 36th World Tournament, which we're going to get Snow Goku, uh, more opportunities at getting the uh, LR Demon King Piccolo, and then obviously some of the other fun things come around with that, the Bizarre Rabbit, uh, always a fun thing to do, and then the Adventures of Gratitude. So uh, that is everything that's going on with this campaign, so uh, nothing too exciting. Uh, we already got the Gohan, so nothing that's going to probably come out with that. But we, this is going to be taking us right into Saiyan Day, so we're going to just be hanging out, waiting for that. I believe that it's going to be March 18th is when that hits, and uh, that'll be a, a pretty nice time frame for us to be able to go through and see some different things going on. And the March 18th for Saiyan Day, that is going to be, for most of us, a Thursday. And uh, that's everything from that. So otherwise, that's today's video, guys. Uh, just wanted to kind of go through, break down this event, break down this campaign, talk about a couple different things. There's obviously going to be much more videos that are going to be coming out here this week and really kind of break everything from that point. So uh, if you guys haven't done so already, please make sure you're going and hitting that red subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell so that way you're notified every single time I'm uploading new videos. Also, make sure you guys are hitting that thumbs up if you guys like today's video and leave a comment down below if there is uh, something that you guys want to discuss about um, or if you have any questions or even just want to talk in general about this new Dokkan Fest unit bojack uh but otherwise that's it that's today's video guys thank you very much for watching and we will talk to you guys later